In a ground vehicle with a suspension, the unsprung mass is the mass of the suspension, wheels or tracks, and other components directly connected to them, rather than supported by the suspension. The mass of the body and other components supported by the suspension is the sprung mass. Unsprung mass includes the mass of components such as the wheel axles, wheel bearings, wheel hubs, tires, and a portion of the weight of drive shafts, springs, shock absorbers, and suspension links. If the vehicle's brakes are mounted outboard, their mass is also considered part of the unsprung mass. Effects of Unsprung Mass The unsprung mass of a wheel offers a trade-off between the wheel's bump following ability and its vibration isolation. Bumps and surface imperfections in the road cause tire compression, inducing a force on the unsprung mass. The unsprung mass then reacts to this force with movement of its own. The motion amplitude for short bumps is inversely proportional to the weight. A lighter wheel which readily rebounds from road bumps will have more grip and more constant grip when tracking over an imperfect road. For this reason, lighter wheels are sought especially for high-performance applications. However, the lighter wheel will soak up less vibration. The irregularities of the road surface will transfer to the cabin through the suspension and hence ride quality and road noise are worse. For longer bumps that the wheels follow, greater unsprung mass causes more energy to be absorbed by the wheels and makes the ride worse. Pneumatic or elastic tires help by restoring some spring to the unsprung mass, but the damping possible from tire flexibility is limited by considerations of fuel economy and overheating. The shock absorbers, if any, also damp the spring motion and must be less stiff than would optimally damp the wheel bounce. So the wheels still vibrate after each bump before coming to rest. On dirt roads and on some softly paved roads, the induced motion generates small bumps, known as corrugations, washboarding or corduroy because they resemble smaller versions of the bumps in roads made of logs. These cause sustain wheel bounce in subsequent axles, enlarging the bumps. Unsprung mass and vehicle design Unsprung mass is a function of the design of a vehicle's suspension and the materials used in the construction of suspension components. Beam axle suspensions, in which wheels on opposite sides are connected as a rigid unit, generally have greater unsprung mass than independent suspension systems, in which the wheels are suspended and allowed to move separately. Heavy components such as the differential can be made part of the sprung mass by connecting them directly to the body. Lightweight materials, such as aluminum, plastic, carbon fiber, and or hollow components can provide further weight reductions at the expense of greater cost and or fragility. The term unsprung mass was coined by the mathematician Albert Healy of the Dunlop Tire Company. He presented one of the first lectures taking a rigid analytical approach to suspension design, the tire as a part of the suspension system to the Institution of Automobile Engineers in November 1924. This lecture was published as a 100-page paper.